Hello Hang Painter community and welcome to another weekly demo. Although this weekly demo will be a bit strange. Here is my, my weekly goal. Oh, the demo was supposed to be all parts printed plus motors moving. That's uh, obvious now that uh, it was uh, way, way, way uh, too ambitious, but I will show you what I have. I can show you the all motors moving part first. We have this. So the new thing here is uh, replaced expansion board there and replaced the expansion board there. Uh, so we will have mo motors moving probably since uh, I've checked and these two works. <laughs> They're not broken, but I won't move that now because as you, as you see I'm, I'm working on these motors. The next part was the next part was uh, all parts printed and that uh, has been limited by by the speed of my Prusa but uh, I printed a lot I've also redesigned and redesigned and redesigned which wasn't planned here we have uh, motor bracket, I'm sure I've showed it before two motor brackets horizontal line deflectors all printed with uh, bearings, black bearings in them corner clamps for the mover also with black bearings, there are black bearings everywhere and screws as the bearing cores so three of those there is one double line roller for the A lines, it's printed the tilted line deflectors printed and with bearings the mirrored ones and here are the the um, line verticalizers for the D lines these have lots of ceramic eyelets because I will gear down these lines uh, four times and they're printed and it took a long time to insert these eyelets because I made the holes uh, so small it was supposed to be really tight because we don't want these to fall out but yeah it was the uh, time sink so I, I will widen them and uh, widen these holes and use uh, super glue instead uh, just save so much time it's the same thing here it took a lot of time to insert these ceramic eyelets and I will spare you for that trouble there are uh, uh, belt uh, gear that fits together with with the belts I have if there's even a 0.1 millimeter error in uh, the sizes the belts won't fit so it uh, has taken a lot of time mm. And the spools themselves are the most time-consuming part. Here's another uh, gear and a spool. So this is one spool. Has a bearing in the middle, and and the previous prototype had a loose part here to push against the, the core of the of the bearing. But I've designed that away. which means we can't if you see in between the bearings we there's nothing supporting there so if we're if we're pushing uh, on the course of the bearings like this uh, then they won't work very well so we can't have a screw there anymore so we will be using smooth rods that won't push I won't compress the bearings 
these are the spool covers put the spool cover there put the spool cover there there's some glue rests here <laughs> and that was an experiment uh, failed experiment you put the smooth rod there you put the spool into that and there so there are little tracks on this spool cover that you're supposed to to push this uh, these legs against so this these two don't uh, rotate it doesn't work perfectly I wonder if I'm redesigning these as well. There's a lot of redesigning at least. The gear runs freely so I'm ready to oh, start mounting this here quite soon. And that will be the goal of the next sprint. And. Uh, as uh, a last part of this video, I thought I would show you how to insert one of the tricky, one of the trickier nuts into the motor bracket. So just uh, follow me. You see, this shows how I've been. But I used my time doing this week. I've been sitting here with a screwdriver and a file. Okay, so this is the motor bracket. Here you see it's the B motor. The motor is already mounted. It's very easy, just four very short screws. Be sure to not use screws that that will punch into the motor, so you just want it, them to be as short as possible. And I wanted to show you how, how you attach the encoder. It just slides over there. And you, you need the screw to go in there. You need to widen that hole. I just use a screwdriver like this. And then, when you have the screw, we slide it on again. There's another problem, and that problem is there's nothing to, to screw it against in the other. On the other side, there's no nut here. And how do you place that nut there? That's a problem <laughs> all my builders will face. And I will show you the solution. Here's a nut. And uh, I put it, I glue it on the middle of the tape, like that, pointing upwards. And I slide it in like this. Into that small gap. And let me see. Center it here and try the screw again. Like that. Where is my Allen key? Here. Let's try if we can get that screw into that knot. Just remove the tape and now it's all tight. Ta-da! 
and the motor you can I don't know if you hear this but you don't want to hear any scraping sound this is quite good but you can see also that this isn't perfectly centered and we loosen this screw a tiny bit and drag it upwards try to position it a bit better and tighten again and this is perfect okay I guess that was today's demo see you in uh, one week or maybe a bit more okay